Our Titans YouTube channel continues to grow. A big thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. But what you might not realize is less than 16% of you have your noties set to all. Meaning when we pu push out a video, publish one, you might not get a notification sent to your phone. Let's get that changed. That way you don't miss out any on any of the videos we do here at Titans today. Hit that bell icon when you first subscribe, same spot. It is defaulted to personalized when you first subscribe, so change it. Hit the button and change it to all. That way you don't miss any video from us here at Tennessee Titans today. And we appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. Tennessee Titans today is protected by Aura. They offer all-in-one digital safety for you and or your whole family. Get a free 14-day trial when you head over to Aura.com slash chat sports. That link, by the way, will be in both the comments section and it will be in the description of today's video. Could the Tennessee Titans go sign Odell Beckham Jr.? So PFF named one free agent or trade target for each NFL team left and their selection was Odell Beckham for Tennessee. Here was their pitch. Quote, the AFC South isn't exactly chock full of wide receivers right now. The Titans rank 26th in our wide receiver core rankings. And sometimes when he's rolling on the division, it would, be, it would behoove them to add another playmaker for quarterback Ryan Tannehill to join Robert Woods, coming off a torn ACL, and rookie Traylon Burks. I do believe Tennessee could use another wide receiver. I think they are thin at the position, and I don't love that for the organization. But we also must remember this, that last note. Odell Beckham will miss time to start the season. He was playing better, looking more and more like old Odell Beckham, kind of like old Kanye was better, before, oh, before he tore his ACL in the Super Bowl. He is going to miss time time of that there is no doubt and unfortunately for obj we haven't seen the same level of play those first couple years in new york even for his entire career frankly obj was one of the best receivers in the entire nfl if not the best the best young receiver it was a justin jefferson s start actually better than J than jj in his career in roughly half the time in cleveland Compared to New York, the numbers are way less than half. And look, we can blame quarterbacks for part of it, but it's not just the QB. OBJ ain't been the same guy down the stretch in the in Cleveland. Although he got better with, with the Rams, that early career Odell Beckham run is not what we've seen in recent years. So would you sign Odell Beckham? Let's assume the money works and all that stuff. Would you add him to the Titans? One of my favorite weigh-ins here at Chat Sports. OBJ for yes, no BJ for no. Sound off for me in the comment section. This question is going to be the pinned comment, by the way, on today's video. So if the ad break comes, it's perfect timing. While the ad plays, head down to the pinned comment, type in OBJ, and maybe for the first time ever, no BJ, if no. I'll say this, by the way. Do not expect, yeah, I know, BJ jokes, it's funny. We're, we're, we're mature here at Chat Sports. Jeff's just laughing. Producer Jeff is just giggling like, eh. Do not expect to move in the near future. Uh, the latest buzz has been that OBJ is going to wait to sign. He's not going to be cleared for, sept for August, September, and probably not October, maybe late October. So what could happen is what happened last year. He creates some semblance of a bidding war by waiting. Teams in contention. Maybe there's an injury at wide receiver. Maybe the Packers or whoever don't have great receiver play. They go, man, we if we got OBJ, we could win the title just like the Rams did last year. And Tennessee may or may not need a receiver in November. I think they need one right now, but Oda Beckham does not help that role. I think Robert Woods will be fine come week one. I think he's going to make a big-time impact. I have confidence in Traylon Burks. What I don't have confidence in is Nick westbrook Aquina, Des Fitzpatrick, Reese McMath, etc. as a true wide receiver three. I think they could find a better option. And look, if Kyle Phillips waits a year, then becomes your slot receiver, that's an ideal outcome. Imagine Woods and OBJ on the outside and Burks manning slot duties early on. I think that's a fantastic idea if Odell Beckham gets healthy. So I think the team needs a receiver. You might not agree with me, though. What is your plan at wide receiver for Tennessee? Type in one if you want to sign OBJ. 
Type 2 if you want to sign somebody not named Odell Beckham. Or Type 3 if you think the Titans don't need any help at wide receiver and they should pass on all the options. Today's show is powered by Or. They offer financial fraud protection, identity theft protection, and online and device security through their all-in-one online safety tool. And they're giving you, watchers of Titans today, a free 14-day trial cancel at any time over at Aura.com slash chat sports. We'll put the link in the comments section and in the description. If you're like most Americans, at some point your credit card, debit card, whatever, got compromised probably through no fault of your own, but Aura helps with that exact issue. Get near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries over at Aura.com slash chat sports. Let's look at Malik Willis now. As ESPN long article looked at the potential timeline, timetables of when the rookie QBs could start, they labeled these as the chances. Winning the job for week one, 5% chance. Uh, of sitting the entire rookie season, 75% chance. Best guess at his first start, week 15 of 2023. Yeah, that far out. Here's what ESPN and uh, Teron Davenport, I believe, was, who wrote it for that for Tennessee's part, wrote, quote, Barring injuries and that type of catastrophic failure, Tannehill will take the bulk of the snaps this year. Uh, the Titans have taken a grand approach to developing Willis, starting with getting him used to calling plays in the huddle and working under center. Quarterbacks coach Pat O'Hara has worked exclusive, ex extensively excuse me, with Willis to make adjustments to his mechanics to improve accuracy. The staff loves what they see in him, but it's a work in progress. That quote, by the way, was edited for brevity just briefly. Uh, this makes sense. Willis has talent. He's got the arm, got the mobility. There had been plenty of round one buzz in large part because there just was, there was not good quarterback options this year. Um, he needs time. He is not ready. The, the notes about working under center and you know making plays in the huddle, he is not prepared to be an NFL quarterback. The Liberty offense was a Mickey Mouse offense, which those work in college. Those don't work that great uh, in the NFL. He needs time to learn how to be an NFL quarterback. That's pre-snap, post-snap, under center. There's been some issues there. Footwork, all of it. The mobility is awesome. Maybe there's a package or two for Malik Willis, but patience is king when it comes to Willis. Do not rush him in to being the savior of this team at quarterback. He needs at least a year, if not two. So make your predictions. Will Malik Willis start a game this year? Just one of them. Y for yes, he will. N for no, he will not. Make your predictions right now in the comments section. Football Outsiders, part of a piece with ESPN, labeled Danico Autry as the most underrated player on the entire Titans roster, which I find interesting. I think they made a very good uh, argument for it as well. Before we break down what Football Outsiders thinks and his numbers overall, who do you think is the singular most underrated player on the Titans roster? I think Autry actually is a pretty decent route since... He is behind Jeffrey Simmons and others, but I want to hear from you, the Titans fans out there. Drop that name for me in the comments section. Here was the pitch from Football Outsiders. Although his fellow defensive lineman Jeffrey Simmons might get more attention, Autry should get credit for the defense turn the Titans went through in 2021. In 2020, the Titans finished 24th in the NFL with a pressure rate of 23% and were 31st in the league in adjusted sack rate. After signing Autry, they jumped to 15th in pressure rate and 10th in adjusted sack rate. In 2021, Autry had nine sacks and led the Titans in quarterback hurries. He commands attention from an offensive line, freeing up his other teammates. Now, Autry's numbers have been pretty consistent outside of a bad sack production year in 2019. I like the inclusion of Autry. I think it's also unfair to say, oh, he was the whole reason why. That feels disingenuous to Jeffrey Simmons, who commands more attention from the film I've studied than, uh, than Autry does, and seems a bit uh, uh, ignoring of Harold Landry. Yes, Autry helps. I think having another viable rusher helps teams go, well, we can't double-team Simmons every play and Landry every play. Tennessee also benefited from better corner play, so I am down to make Autry an underrated player. 
I think that's maybe too much hype in his favor, though. If you are a real one and made it to the end of today's Titans video, thank you. We'll show you some love in the comments section if you type Titan up for making it all the way through today's vid.